100.9 The Creek, Real Music, Real Radio, Creekside Mornings, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis. That is BR549. It is. Cherokee Boogie, a song originally written and recorded by Moon Mulligan, and today kind of feels a little racist. Well, I mean, Not you know, lie. there's a lot of things that if you look back over time, maybe not the best sensibilities when writing them. It just feels bad I now, mean, you know, it? I mean, I, I need to revisit that Actually going to punch me in the chest, but, um, you know, there's a couple things in 101 Dalmatians that really shouldn't be there. Um, I'm just saying. They just really, you know, just when you look back at it, I mean, it's like, really? We we said that? We did that? We Ooh. did that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Alex, it's not your time yet. Alex, it is not your time yet. Alex, go. ready to go. Gosh. Just read, can I he play? Can just, I go he's just tapping play? the mic like, is this thing on or something? Like, no, it's not your time. I feel left out. Oh, did you have feelings about 101 Dalmatians? Did you have? No? no okay. No. Well, well then you had nothing to say then, Alex. I was just curious if that was Ashley's favorite movie or something. No, she's just a Disney freak. Oh, okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to get into movies uh, people haven't seen here in just a little bit. Oh, yeah. We but do first. Have to do that. Alex Von Coito, The Voice. Alex Von Coito, The Voice. voice. I was kind of looking forward to hearing this. Alex Von Coito, The Voice. 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 Oh, good morning, Alex Von Coitel. How are you, sir? Good morning. Uh, I'm wondering, since I wasn't here last week, did you guys just play this regardless? Or oh, no? yeah. You skipped it. Okay. No, we played a lot. Okay. We played it a lot. Don't lie to the boy. We ain't played it one time. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about this uh, straight up. There will be no Lion Chain show this week yeah. due to the holidays, due to New Year's Eve. Yeah, right. Uh, but we will be back one week from tomorrow, right. Creek Stage at the Rookery, with uh, the Coach Ryan Michael Lion Chain show. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Looking forward to getting back down there. Now, uh, I'm... I am very excited. You brought uh, you brought Daniel Perez with yes. you this morning. Daniel, good morning. How are you? Good morning. It's good thanks to see you. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah, You've I'll been here too. before, but you haven't been on the air with us. Exactly. Uh, at least in official capacity. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I unofficially threw you on to chastise you for never having seen Star Wars. Yeah, well, yeah you can lay it on me. It's fine. We're going to. <laughs> He's like, I'm cool with it. You know? <laughs> it's going to happen. All right. Uh, but I've got to say this. If I had to do on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday what your schedule, actually going back to Wednesday, what your schedule required of you, I would still be asleep. <laughs> Chances are I'd be in a coma. Okay, oh, Lord, not a coma. <laughs> because I want to break this down. You flew back. You went home to visit family for the holidays. Where are you from? Yeah, New Jersey. Okay. New, Jersey. New Jersey. All right. Yeah. You flew back on Christmas Day. Yep. Flight. Airport. Mm. Randos. Christmas Day. Ugh. Which airport did you fly out of? Uh, Newark. See? Ooh. Newark. Ooh. It just gets worse. <laughs> the story gets worse. You flew back. Yep. You guys were on the road. You had games Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Oh. Yep. What time did you get back Sunday morning on the bus? Uh, let's see. It's around, well, we had 3 o'clock game. Sweet. Yeah. So yeah. that helped out big Yeah, time. that was an afternoon game. But we ended up getting back around uh, t- midnight, midnight. One o'clock, yeah. Sweet Jesus. And here we are, 8.30 on a Monday morning, yeah. and you're in here. By I'm the proud way, of you. By the way, I, Philly Cheese is a Jersey boy. Y'all may want to bond yeah, yeah, you know, Jersey yeah, yeah, you know, a little cheese bit. Cheese steaks and uh, whatever. You know. Well, so, if, if his name's Philly Cheese, then he's probably a South Jersey boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Philly Cheese. <laughs> we could have some sort of a some sort of a war going on. No, in here no, 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 no. South Jersey, North Jersey. No, uh, <laughs> you, Dan, I'm telling you, you don't want nothing with the New Jersey Nightcrawler. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alex, let's talk about these uh, three games because that is uh, that is a hell of a schedule to do three road games on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's tough. Yeah, it is. And especially after, you know, a top heavy season like we've had so far where yeah. we've pretty much been all at home and yeah. then all of a sudden we've got a road trip like that. And to be honest, it's not over yet. We go to Knoxville tomorrow mm. um, on, you know, New Year's Eve. And yeah. then <laughs> the guys are going to be celebrating New Year's uh, somewhere between Knoxville and Macon. Oh, okay. This year. <laughs> well, that'll be great. Happy New yeah. Year. We're on a bus. <laughs> Yay. Uh, at least they'll be together. Yeah, look at there you go. Look at there there. You go. That's called a bonding experience, <laughs> Daniel. That's what we call that. But, uh, you know, it was, like you said, a really tough stretch of games. We got off to a really great start all three games. I think we scored the first goal within four minutes three times in a row. Wow. So, um, you know, red hot start every time. It's just with, you know, I think we're pretty banged up. We've had a lot of injuries to key players. Uh, Danny Caesar didn't play. Games two and three, oh. and Caleb Cameron's still nursing that injury. Yeah, and Jimmy Soper got called up to Greenville right before the trip started. Yeah, so, congrats to Jimmy, by yeah, the way. Yeah, absolutely. We're happy for him, but at the same time, you know, it made for a really challenging stretch of games. With Those are three really key pieces that we were missing for a very important few games. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm proud of the way that the team started every single game, but I think just a combination of things made it difficult um, as the games wore on, periods 
Late periods two, early period three, um, I think were pretty tough for us, and that's kind of when uh, we let the lead slip away a bit. Well, um, I was talking about this um, off air with you, Daniel, and I'm going to ask this question again. But as as someone who is not a nuanced hockey fan, where I'm still learning a lot of the nuance, it seems like to me, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, the team is playing much more cohesively now as opposed to six weeks ago it feels like there is more direction more cohesiveness in the play am i wrong about that no i'd agree with that um i think it's good to get the kinks out earlier on in the season Mm. um you know people get frustrated and it's obviously very frustrating from the team standpoint to you know not win games early on but um i'd rather be a more cohesive group and winning games towards the end of the season when when they matter than you know at the start but yeah i definitely agree with that that um you know things are starting to you know gel better now than they were before and it seems like there's you know we've talked about the fact we've had a lot of players out with injuries we've had Mm -hmm. call-ups we've had some trades going on is it tough to build that Mm. that hive mind as a team with all of that going on yeah without a doubt because you've been in and out this season yeah exactly it's tough um there's a lot of movement and stuff like that so it, it is tough to deal with um and it's every day there's something you know there's a new shake up every day it seems like it could be like two so um definitely tough to deal with but at the end of the day, it's we can't use it as an excuse because every other team's dealing with the mm-hmm. exact same things. So um, yeah, while it is frustrating, it's just a matter of you know dealing with those highs and the lows and the you know all the movement and just who can you know break through that adversity. You know. Now we do have a home game this Friday night, mm-hmm. uh, seven thirty puck drop. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are taking on Knoxville. Is it Knoxville? Uh, no, no, Pensacola. 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 Yeah, oh, Pensacola. 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 Sorry, Knoxville's uh-huh. Tuesday tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow night in Knoxville. Again, busy schedule this week. Yeah. And then you guys are away on Saturday night, so there is no home game. Right. And if you've looked at the schedule for the next few months, the you know the back half of the schedule, it's not as loaded up with home games. No. No, it's not. Um, it was, you know, when, when Blair, our general manager, was making the schedule, he had kind of a tough decision to make. Um, you know, did he want to have a lot of home games? You want to front load or back load? Yeah. Well, yeah. it wasn't really that. It was, did you want more Friday, Saturdays um, in the front half of the season, or did you want more kind of midweek games in the second half mm. of the season Right. when football season's over and midweek games are tougher, you know, from from our standpoint to get butts in the seats. So he decided to go with, uh, you know, lean more towards the top-heavy start yep. to the season. And, um, you know, that, either way, it was a tough decision to make. I think, and which is my point to this: those chances are not as prevalent as they were during the first half of the season. So get those butts mm-hmm. in them seats. In those seats, exactly. Uh-huh. You know, football season's over. No yeah, more. your team to lost. I mean, the Falcons ain't playing. You know, Georgia ain't playing. I mean, who cares about it? Now? Friday night is yeah. fan control night. <laughs> yeah, it is. what is fan control night? Since um, I'll have to be there hosting the game, what is fan <laughs> control night? A lot of people have asked about this one, yeah, even way back in October when the promos were first announced. Um, it's going to be – so Zach's idea for it is we're going to put up polls basically on Twitter and social media okay. and ask fans things like, okay, what kind of songs do you want to hear on oh, Friday night? All right. What jerseys do you want us to wear? What um, What should Tony say on the microphone during those moments? Exactly. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, what intermission game do you want to see us play? Like, all kinds of things like that where we get – Give the fans the power to decide what happens yeah. from a game ops perspective. So, see, Daniel, you uh, you're always busy when I'm doing my thing at the game. You're like in the locker room yeah. or you're in a huddle, whatever. <laughs> you're busy. You don't see how awkward I make it, and I really do, Daniel. I he make tries it really to make it very. Uh, I do want to point out coming up, January the 11th is the next specialty jersey night. It is Marvel jersey mm. night. Are you looking forward to this one? Or are you a Marvel fan? I'm not really a Marvel fan, but wow, I like you just what? don't like, like anything, do you, Daniel? Like, wow. <laughs> You don't like anything that we like. You, you like nothing. <laughs> I mean, gosh. Hide your heart to please. What, I, what do you like? I like radio. I, I, <laughs> I did radio in college a little I mean, bit. Did you really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, then that's cool. I mean, yeah. we'll take that. Look for some but part-time I mean, work, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. If you need a gig or something. He, he, was the, something. he was the only player who I thought might actually come this morning after this, this past week of travel. I was like, uh, Danny, <laughs> do you want to do it? <laughs> All right, well, despite the fact that you don't like Star Wars or Marvel, you're welcome oh, back wow. anytime. All right, thank you. What are you, a Lord of the Rings fan or something? No, no, no. Jesus! <laughs> Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Okay, you're a Potter. Right, okay, you're a Potter. Right. Okay. That explains okay. it. Right. Also, my little pony. He's oh, well, there's nothing wrong. You're not I a brony, are you, dude? There's, there's, I mean, I mean there's, <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with my little pony. Wrong. I, I'm with you on that. Ain't nothing wrong with Thank my you. little pony in your life. Did they just have a brony bonding I mean, experience? Just, I mean, maybe. I mean, we're invisible. I mean, yeah, after, we're not even here. After this, we might just go, you know, do a little binge watch. I mean, I mean what? <laughs> not even here, my God. Daniel, good to see you. Thanks for coming in this morning, man. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Alex? 
Reasonably good it's to see you. Always good to see you, Alex. Merry Christmas. Since I didn't see you before, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, hopefully, the twenty twenty will be as great for you as nineteen was. There we go. Absolutely. Oh, Thanks. Daniel, question: uh, Best hockey movie ever? Goon, Slapshot, or Miracle? Probably ain't seen that one. Of can I go? Off? I'm gonna go off with Mystery oh. Alaska here. You're going oh. off grid with oh, Mystery he Alaska. Went off the board. <laughs> Mystery okay. Alaska. Hey, all right. So we figured out he hates everything except Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh God, fantastic. <laughs> that was awkward. He completely I, went off. Grid. I like that he went off the board though. Yeah. He, he went did. Off the board. He did. Good choice. I like that. Uh, good. Right. I like it. He makes us play this twice. He by does. The way. Daniel, I mean, from Alex Von Coyne or the Voice. What's what it is? From Alex Von Coyne or the Voice. Voice. Like from Alex Von Coyne or the Voice. 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 Boy, 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 consolation. His girlfriend's also tired of hearing this. He plays it at the house all well, the time. Well, I mean, it's he made it, so he might as well. All right, good to see you guys again. No yeah, line man. change this week. Be back next, next Tuesday. Week. Here's the Teskey Brothers on the Creek.